Hello, we're here to talk about how to edit the MAC address for Virtual PC Guest Systems. This video is going to be especially helpful for those who use Virtual PC in lab environments or training rooms where the, you, you simply will copy over the .vmc file to the uh, Virtual PC host systems um, for easy deployment. Uh, the problem with just simply copying the .vmc file which is the configurations file, is that the MAC address for the virtual uh, guest is um, located in that file. If you simply copy that file over, um, you're going to duplicate the MAC address across all the virtual systems. So let's take a look on how, how we could um, actually update that information manually in the .vmc file. Let's start by launching the Microsoft Virtual PC application. And in this demo, I already have a virtual PC uh, guest system called WinXP Test 1. Now, we won't be able to change the MAC address using the, the uh, traditional settings uh, that are available to us through the, um, the console. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to look at the uh, .vmc file, which will be located by default in the virtual, um, the virtual machines folder. I have in front of you the virtual machines folder where you'll notice that the uh, WinXP test 1 virtual machine settings file or the .vmc file is located along with the virtual hard disk. Um, this is the file that we need to modify in order to change the uh, MAC address for the virtual guest system. So I'm going to go ahead and open this file up with a text editor. Um, you can typically use a notepad. Okay, so here we have the uh, MAC address for the virtual guest system on this first Ethernet card. You'll notice it's a 12-digit hexadecimal number. And if we copy this VMC file to another uh, whole system, um, we'd want to have that other virtual guest to have a different MAC address. Um, the notation is in hexadecimal, so the values you have to work with are 0 through F. In this case, we can, if we, for instance, copy this file to another system, we can change this last value to um, another... Uh, hexadecimal number, uh, for instance D, or I can change it to E. Um, again, my values in each column are A through F, um, and if you're not familiar with uh, the hex system, you may want to um, do some research on that, so you, you ensure that you put in the correct values for this MAC address. Again, it's very important to have a, uh, a unique MAC address on the local subnet, otherwise uh, the delivery of packets um, will be inconsistent. Um, you'll have two systems with, with identical, identical MACs um, responding to ARP requests and attempting to um, process the same um, packets. So once you made the change, all you simply need to do is just save this file. Um, and it'll save it back in the same format. And that is pretty much it. If you wanted to verify that the, that the changes were made, just go ahead and open up, open up the file again in Notepad. We'll scroll over, and we have the Ethernet card address, and of course it shows the uh, the change that I made. Well, that's it as far as um, modifying the MAC address for uh, virtual guest systems. Thank you for watching.